What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java. So how are you guys? So bago tayo magsimula, just want to say about doon sa, doon sa integer x na global scope, the global variable in our past tutorial. So I posted in the description yung meaning ng static. So for you just to know na static, um, since yan medyo mali ato yung pakasabi ko. No? So static basically means static variable means na yung variable na yon the global or the static variable um, it means na pag static siya it that variable is shared between all instances of that class so basically kung bakit siya share niya yung variable na yon kaya one of the reason that makes it kung mag global kaya na access kaysa na function so ganun lang guys ganun lang so eto new new topic tayo about this the try catch finally what ano nga ba to so in Java, guys, um, for example, kailangan kasi itong try-catch. Explain ko kung ano to, ano to later. For example, when you are dealing with file handlers, naalala nyo yung, yung mga times na nagparan tayo ng code, then nakita nyo may red na error, then may nabasa ba kayong exception? So, yun, that exception. So, they, this is the way para, kumbaga, mag-block yun. Kumbaga, kumbaga, for example, um, ganito. For example, meron tayong um, simple program na please enter a number. Then, paano kung in-enter ng user is hindi naman number. In-enter niya ay letter or a character. Letter, string, any. Basta hindi integer. So, magkakosya ng exception. Specific ex exception ay ito-throw. Throw ng, ng IDE. So, mag-error siya ng exception niya. Ganyan. Then, Ganun. So, the try catch is another way to, kumbaga, i-catch yung exception na yon and, kumbaga, para at least, um, mawala yung red na yon na parang, ah, ang pangiting sa code. Kumbaga, you can put an error message at least. So, kumbaga, kinakatch tina yung exception, guys. So, this is very important for our next tutorial about file handling. So, whenever you're dealing with file handlers in Java, you need the, to, to ano, apply the try catch. So, Let's make a simple uh, example of try catch para at least maintindihan niyo. So, for example, again, let's make it the uh, kanina yo. So, ang tawag dito, so declare muna tayo ng scanner, scanner, scanner is equal to new mali parang scanner. Scanner sa system. Medyo nakakalito. I'm currently learning about JavaScript. So, I'm nakakalito ang mga syntax minsan. So, control shift I lang. If you need, we need to import the Java Utility Scanner package para magamit natin yung the class scanner. So, yun. So, let's just make a simple program na mag-assign yung kanina. Please enter an integer. So, please enter an integer. Okay, so, uh, for example, meron tayo ditong int x or int number. Ganyan. And number is equal to, o oh, ganito. So, number is equal to scanner dot next int. So, ganyan. So, saan, paano ba natin i-apply itong try catch? So, ganito lang yan, guys. So, I kahit ilagay na lang, o oh, pwede, pwede lang, pwede naman. Kahit ganito, you put here the try. So, try, ganyan. Ganyan. So, basically, basically, it means na, kumbaga, anything that is inside the open and closing curly braces, or curly brackets, curly braces of the try, the try statement here, kumbaga, you can think of it, la, from the word itself, try, ita try nga to, itatry niya yung code na to. Then, once na nagbigay siya ng, or nag-throw siya ng exception, what I mean by exception guys is basically an error, ikakatch, ikakatch, nito, ikakatch, ganyan, ganyan. So, you put here, exception, then, a uh, simple name of the variable of the, what I mean is, uh, an exception variable name, ganyan. So, then you put here some error message, kundi, for example, um, ganyan, system that, up that, printly, um, you did not enter an integer. Ganyan. So, let's check the code. 
magtataka kayo, pwede bang unahin yung try cash din sa kanya yung susulat to? Oo, oh, para, ang, may kaiba, inuna ko lang to, so, ganun lang naman, wala naman na, ano, wala naman na big deal, ganun. So, let's check the code, so, um, please enter your number, then, then yan. So, then yan. So, let's run. So, please enter your number. For example, pag nag-enter tayo ng 6, walang nangyari. So, tama. Walang nangyari. Pero what if nag-enter tayo ng, for example, ganyan, P, then ganyan, you did not enter an integer. So, meron tayong at least, kung alisin kasi natin to, lagyan natin ng comment. Lagyan natin ng comment. Para at least, maliwanagan kayo guys. So, what do I mean? So, run ulit natin. Wala yan na try catch. So, walang mag-handle or mag-catch ng exception or the basical error. P. So, ayan. Nakita niyo yan. So, the, there's an error. The input mismatch exception. Ito yung exception niya. So, yun guys. I just want to say another thing. Another programming tip. So, ganito. Once na you're using tricast exception, for example, ito. Etong this piece of code here, ang exception niya, once na, for example, nag-ingin tayo ng integer, pero ang in-enter natin is character. Um, the exception um, called for, ang tawag dun is ito, is the mis input mismatch exception. So, in it is a good programming practice na ito mismo ang ilagay niyo The specific exception or the, yes, ang ilagay niyo dito. Ilagay niyo dyan. Then, yeah. So, you need to, uh, oops, basically, I think you need to import, control shift i yan, then, yan. So, basically, in-import lang natin yung import java that uses that mismatch exception. So, control shift i lang, so, ganyan. So, it's it's a good programming practice na, good programming practice na yung mismong exception ang ilagay nyo. So, ganun. Pero, wala naman masama kung yung kanina na exception, exception, tapos, um, yung, for example, yung yung word na exception lang, kasi if, yung exception kasi yun, you can think of it like yung ganito, yung exception mismo, yung exception. Yan, etong exception na to kasi, para tong kumbaga, kumbaga, eto yung kumbaga pangkahalataan, kumbaga ganito, parang, parang ganito guys, etong mga input mismatch exception, maraming classing exception sa ano, yung mga errors na matay kami is that for example is input mismatch exception meron pa tayong tinatawag na and, um, array inbound um, inbound at array out of index exception parang ganon so basically yung mga exceptions na yun parang you can think of it line na ito yung tatay nila <laughs> this is exception but basically ito ito yung kumbaga this is general, kumbaga generalized na exception yan, no? generalized. Kumbaga parang tatay nga, gano'n. Pero as I've said, it is always a good programming practice to put the um, correct, um, what do you call that? Um, yes, the, the specific or the yung saktong exception. So, run ulit natin. Kung enter tayo ng 10, tama. So, wala, wala siya kasing exception kasi tama, nag-enter tayo ng integer. Pero, what it na yung ng u? So, you did not enter an integer. So, kinatch niya yung exception. Yung exception na yun, or yung the error, then, print niya to. So, at least, kumaga, um, magandang tingnan yung code and the output. And, it is also efficient inside sa, kung in terms of programming, efficient siya. So, magtatanong kayo, pwede bang, gaya sa if, if else, pwede ba kayo mag-catch? Then, may exception naman ulit dyan, for example. Then, may catch ulit. Pwede, pwede. So, depende yan sa, sa program nyo. Kung marami kayong hinahandle or, ikat, or naisipan nyo na or advanced na kayong mag-isip, kumbaga, yung problem nyo parang naisip nyo na, ay marami tong exception na mga kailangan i-catch. So, pwede yan. Catch. Then, may exception ka rin dyan. Ayan, then, catch ulit. Then, so on. Kahit ilan pa yan, design nyo yan. Then, Last but not the least, we have the finally. Finally. So, sa final, ang finally, nilalagay yan sa huli yan. So, what if kung marami kayong catch dyan, may catch kayo, 
ulit. So, may cash naman kayo. Basta sa pinakalas pa lagi ang finally. Kaya nga, finally. So, finally. Finally. Then, ganyan. So, ang finally naman is basically, kumbaga, whether may error or not, whether may error or may walang error, gagawin niya. So, let's just print a simple. For example, um, kay, um, mangyari ako kahit walang error error or my error ganyan so basically ganyan so kahit may exception or kahit wala so mangyayari to kung anything that is inside open and closing for the braces of the finally statement so uh, for example 8 so mangyayari ako kahit walang error or may error so basically Tama yung ano, walang exception, pero nangyari pa rin to yung print natin. So, let's, um, um, for example, nag-enter tayo ng y. Then, you did not enter integer, then mangyayari ako kahit walang may error, blah, blah, blah. So, ganun lang naman guys. So, I hope na naiintindihan nyo. So, basically, ganun lang naman ang, ano na, try catch. So, um, kumbaga, kung the word is uh, try, kumbaga, Especially in file handling kasi required maglagay ng ano, uh, try catch kung baga, kung baga, parang iniisip ng ID parang papasiguro kung baga, what, what if hindi kasi mahanap yung specific name ng file siyempre may magka catch ng etc parang ganon so at least yun lang ang tatandaan nyo yung basic concept ng try catch yung, yung nasa loob ng open and clo closing curly braces itatry niya from the word itself kung baga, try try to try natin Kung may error ba to, so i-execute yung code. Then, once na kung may exception, i-catch niya dito. Ito yung, yung specific, again, yung, it is a good programming practice na ilagay yung specific na exception. Then, anything ilagay niyo dito yung variable name of the exception. It's up to you, kahit ex pa yan. It's up to you. So, then, anything, once na, na meet, may na-catch na exception, so anything that is inside the open and closing curly braces of the catch statement, gagawin niya. Ganito. So, ganyan. Then finally, as I've said, whether may mali or may error or may anything, may mali or wala, gagawin niya gagawin niya yung nasa loob ng open and closing curly braces. Ganun. So, uh, may isip pa pala ako, what if kung Again, maraming tayong catch. Maraming tayong catch. Pero isa lang yung namit na exception. So basically, ang mangyari doon is, i-catch niya yan, i-catch niya lang yung, yung, yung may exception na yon. So hindi niya i-catch yung wala naman talagang nangyari, exception or na error. For example, itong input mismatch exception. So, for example, inside our code here, meron tayong, kumbaga, um, inaasahan na what if nagkamali yung user mag-enter is an input mismatch exception or an array index out of bound exception. So, simple dalawa yung catch mo. May dalawa yung catch. Ganyan, may catch ka dyan. Then, may, may catch ka about array index about. So, pag na, what if kung na-meet niya lang is array index out of bound exception. So, siyempre, ipiprint niya lang yung 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 sa array index at the bound exception kung ano man na code ang ilagay nyo dun or an uh, error message kumbaga so yun lang parang sa if else na nata so kung anong namit niyang specific na um, kung ali kahit alin what if kung namit pareho for, for example pareho nag occur na input mismas exception and an array index at the bound exception so pareho pareho din mag execute yung code yung sa exception na yon so yung code na linagay niya dito so again what if kung kung isa lang yung nangyari exception edi isa lang ang ano kung mag magprint or kung may execute na code na for example yun nga um, for example yun nga yung, yung and the array index out of bounds and the uh, input mismas exception what if kung Ang uh, nangyari lang naman na exception is input mismatch exception. Then, ito lang yung execute niya. So, hindi. Walang mangyayari at ang execution doon sa array index, index out of bounds kasi hindi naman. Wala namang nangyari exception na gano'n. So, yun guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. So, parang napakahabang explanation, no? So, 
I hope na intindihan niyo. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. I hope na may natutunan kayo pag may tanong lang, just comment down below. Thanks.